I am in the car with my two boys. We are gonna go ahead and go into school for a little bit. Um, my room is pretty much staying the same from last year, except I've moved some things around. And so we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna move around, and then I'm gonna try to get as much done today as I can. We're gonna go get breakfast for the boys, do that. They brought stuff to do in my classroom. And then after, um, we are gonna go ahead and go to the comic book store and get lunch. So we are gonna get on our way, but I just wanted to open up the video. My name is Tiffany Loken. I am a first grade teacher here in Arizona and come along with me on my day. Okay, so this is what my room looks like right now. This is how I left it on the last day of school. I started taking stuff down from there. Kind of started over there, but I just realized that usually I move everything into the middle of the room, but I just put it against a wall today, so, or on the last day. So I'm gonna have to take all that down because I'm switching that wall with this wall. My desk used to be over there, focus. Um, but now my desk is in the back corner. I made things to go down there. That will probably be a welcome thing until we do our classroom promises. That's what I ended up putting on there last or last school year. I want to take off the letters there. I'm getting a new clock and because this one does not work no matter what I do. Um, although that's the closest it's been to the correct time in months. Um, but this is what it all looks like. So we need everything off the floor unless it's gonna be moved out. So everything I can fit goes up there. Those three drawer things stay up there. I still have a couple to label because I moved some things around. But um, these two totes, well actually three totes, so one, two, three, those crates are all things for Meet the Teacher and the first week of school that we started uh, got a head start on. And so, yes. So I'm going to do a couple things in here. I also want to cover those. Last year it was so humid that nothing would stick to those, but I think we have got it handled this year. So another look around. Okay, so now that I've shown you around, I'm just gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna turn on music. The boys are gonna eat their breakfast and I'm just gonna get to work. I think I'm going to take down the back wall that almost has everything down already uh, and just figure out what I'm going to do there. But that will now be my focus wall and my rug. You guys have not seen that. I got a rug through Donors Choose because all my other rugs were like from Walmart and duct taped together. So it looked like one big rug, but it wasn't. And it was hard and not good. Um, I probably used them way longer than I should have. And so I'm just going to work on that a little bit. Um, I may, I need to see like what stuff I have left. Um, because I'm gonna try to piece together a whole little wall over there. So I'm just gonna put you down, the boys are gonna eat, and I'm gonna get to work. So super quick, I thought I had enough paper to put down there and I do not. So I just ordered some more paper, it'll be here this week. So I'm gonna move over, I've got that. Okay, so what you guys didn't see is it's been bugging me all year. Um, I noticed that it was not level on the top and so it's literally been bugging me all year. And my team, one of the members on my team kinda like gave me 
a hard time about it a little bit um, because she just thinks that I'm crazy. But I could tell when I was teaching because I'm staring, you know, um, at like I can look at the whole back because I teach from the front. Um, that it like went, like it declined down about three quarters of an inch. And so I went through, I measured again, I fixed all that. So now it is, let me see. On here, you guys are a bit crooked because of my tripod, but it is no longer crooked. And so I fixed all that, but now I don't have enough for the bottom. So I'm gonna have to come back and do that. So now I'm gonna move on over to that side, yes, where I put all of my furniture. I'm gonna move all of my furniture away, take all of that down, um, and then just see if I can put up the rest of my bulletin boards that were on the back wall, because now the back wall is gonna be my focus wall, so yes. Day. we're only here I don't know just a little bit um, I ordered the other paper and so the rest of this video will be that as soon as it comes in in a couple days and then yeah decorating that wall but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out I have some more stuff to add once we get ready for the year like math stuff um, social studies and science, what we'll be doing the first, you know, part of school, foundations unit one, and I have my poster to hang up there. Down here will go, um, this is where my library is going to go this time. Usually I have a little alcove with my library. Yeah. I'm going to try to do it differently this year. Yeah. And I'm just doing Walmart bookshops all the way across. And so those I will put together and do after they um after they like wax our floor and stuff because that hasn't happened it's pretty early into summer so 
um, they're gonna do that. And then I'll be able to put my bookshelves up because I don't wanna put them up and then them have to move them out. So I'm just waiting. And then, yes, so I will take you along the rest of my focus wall as soon as I get that paper. And so, for you it'll be a couple seconds, but for me it'll be a couple days. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I am back in my classroom and I'm going to finish my focus wall and see what else I can get done. We're gonna be here for a few hours. And then I'm taking Connor to Pokemon Go at a local park and then we'll see what else we have going on today. Um, but I'm gonna take you along today. Hopefully I can get everything done I want to. And then, yeah, so I'm just gonna set you down like I always do and I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Okay, so I just took that magnetic board down just because I don't need it right there. I'm gonna move it over by where my small group table will be, which the teacher that had it there before, it was because it was her small group area. So it makes sense. Um, but I'm not gonna use my small group area there this year. I did not like it there this school year, so whatever. But I just took everything out of the wall and I'm going to put the um, hardware in a bag and tape it to the back. That's what I always do whenever I take anything out like that. That way it stays together because I'll put it somewhere where I think is safe and then I'll lose it. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then what I'm gonna do where the holes are instead of like patching them and everything for right now, I'm just going to put tape over them so my, um, my bulletin board paper goes over nicely. And then, I mean, I guess it'll only become a problem if I try to staple something there, but we'll see. But that's a quick fix instead of having to patch it right now. Now, if I ever move my bulletin board away from there, or my focus ball away from there, then I will patch it and put paint over it and everything. But it's still the original color that I painted over last summer. So I'm just putting bulletin board paper over it and then I will deal with it if I ever move it again. Okay, this is what I'm talking about where I'll just put the tape over for right now because it is rough. I should not have put my word wall letters up yet last time and I did so I'm taking them down again because I want them to match the seam that I have so taking them down here we go
it on here, although it may not sound like that, and they, or may not look like that. And then I went and I talked to the principal and the assistant principal about a few things for next year, just prepping for next year. Um, and then because I moved this, now it has like that weird raw edge. So I'm just gonna put some border stuff there. And then I still have my visor things that I would wear for foundations for our phonics. Um, and I'm just gonna put those away. I have my megaphone that someone gave me that I love. I need new batteries for it though, but I absolutely love that. That's the last thing I need, um, which many of my coworkers will tell you, but I love it. So more batteries for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put border around the brown spots on there. for the day I'm gonna do a quick show around I just did work hard be kind try your best on um, the wall below my whiteboard I will put links of like stuff that I have in my description this one page. I made myself but I did buy a similar um, file from TBT and so I'll put that one down there. This one just met my needs a bit more. Try your best is my number one rule and um, the kids recite it all the time and so I added that to this because I think the one that I bought was like work hard, be kind, play safe. But work hard, be kind, try your best fit my classroom a little bit better. And then I wanted to do um, vinyl with my Cricut for some and then I did some on Astro Bright so I just kind of did it my own. Um, but I'll post the file that I did buy, the one that I was going to use. And then, so I wanna show you this and then explain. It's kind of over off-centered for two reasons. One, I have a bunch of stuff here that needs to be moved when they clean, deep clean my room and wax the floors. But I also keep a toothless cactus in my room. I wonder if I have a picture of it somewhere because I threw ours away. I threw them, I throw them away each year and then I get a new one or I make a new one. Um, but in first grade, kids lose a lot of teeth, and so the toothless cactus is kind of fun for them um, because if they lose their tooth in class, they get a tooth necklace, but if they lose their tooth at home, they don't really get anything, and so if they lose a tooth at home, they can come in, and sometimes their parents will send me a picture and say like, hey, they lost their tooth. They're super excited to be on the toothless cactus, um, but I put their name on our toothless cactus, and it's literally a cactus that I print out, and then I print out a like a mouth and I black out some teeth. Um, it's all clip art, it's all online, whatever I find. Um, but I make it pretty big. This year we lost 45 teeth in my classroom. And so first grade is a year of losing lots of teeth. And so that's what I'm gonna put up here because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. So let me just kind of show you this and where it's gonna go. So here's the work hard. This is extreme close up because I'm still sitting where I did it. So work hard, be kind, try your best. And then over here there is room. And so I'm gonna put our toothless cactus right there. I did put it up higher last year and then it just was kind of a bummer to get on a chair and write on it, whatever. Um, and then right over here, you can't see because of all my junk, but that's where my small group table is gonna go. So that will be easy, accessible, easily accessible. And yeah, and then everyone can see it too because the kids get so excited. They show everyone that comes in our room. Okay, so here's what I got done. This is our new focus wall my rug will go down here so I have my word wall I usually put my letters down below and then work up but this time I put my letters up high and I'm gonna work down so I think that'll be good did my shapes and my colors my wonders stuff and I have posters that go below each one of those for each week this is kind of a work in progress the edges were raw in the paper backer stuff I use, the better than paper, and so I decided to do that. I'm probably going to change that because I do not like it. Um, and then this will be my calendar. I'll put the month up there. I have it all packed away and I can't exactly remember where I put it. And then I do 
the weather and all that and I have my little bag that I keep my numbers in so that will all go right there and then I think that's going to be it toward the end of the year I put a thing right here and it says we're getting second grade ready and then toward the like that's like halfway through the year we're getting second grade ready and then at the end of the year about two weeks before the end of school I put on there we are second grade ready and we talk about it each day and we practice saying it so this is that wall are my bulletin boards that I did last time I don't know if I said in my last video but my library is gonna go along here this time my accelerated reader I'll put all of our monthly stats there and then reading makes you sharp and then I have two other posters that will go there that are at home that I need to bring back in obviously my refrigerator will not go there it's up right now because they still need to come in and wax the floors but that is my room right now I am leaving, but really quick, I, but I wanted to show you what we did for our last day of school. Um, little gifts for our kids. So we did little popcorn boxes, um, and so this is what it looks like. And then it has a like an Otter Pop, whatever you call these. I call them Otter Pops. I think depending on where you live, you call them something different. With a little tag, with a little um, popsicle koozie. Last year we put their names on, but this year we just did not. Um, a little bag again with a cute little tag and I got these all on teachers pay teachers I'll link them down below and then a pair of sunglasses this is really cool it's kind of like those pins or those pencils that you see but this is a crayon and so each one is a different color with those tags and this is a gift that all first grade gave to their kiddos we did a summer coloring book and inside it just has different ones and on the back it says happy summer break enjoy your break and have a ton of fun love your teacher and then a little bookmark that has a poem and then bubbles that are crayons well crayon bubbles that look like a crayon um, and then just in this little things and then I bought books throughout the year every once in a while Scholastic will have um, books of like 10, 10 packs of books for 10 bucks. And so that's what I get. And, um, yeah. So I gave them two of those. I gave them the, like, how do dinosaurs go to school? And then the cool beam, because those were what they had at the time. And then I just recently bought some scholastic books or like some 10 packs from Scholastic Books, and I can't remember what book I bought, um, but I'll save those for the end of the year. So I just got home, or we got home from school. We did not end up going Pokemon hunting for my son. Um, it's super hot, and so we are gonna go a different day. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay. I'm literally just sitting by my front door because I just got the box, and I thought that I would unbox it for you. Um, so I always keep my eye out for those um, I don't know what they're called, like 10, 10 book packs. So I'm going to show you those first. So this time they had Never Let a Dinosaur Scribble. And so I got a three sets of those. So each set has 10 books. Each set is 10 bucks. So 30 bucks, 30 students, 30 books. Um, and then what I do is if I don't have 30 students at the end of the year, so like this year I had... 27 I think 27 so I have three extra so they will go in my library um, and then sometimes I will gift them to another student or not another student another teacher to see if they need one for their library and then um, I bought this set it's the acorn series pack these are super cute little books so they had these at our scholastic book fair this year and um, PTO was so nice they let each teacher go in and they gave us I think it was $200 to shop with and so I bought some of these and I saw them in a four book pack and um, I don't have some of these so this one is super cute or oh, looks super cute and then this one I have one copy in my library and the kids loved it this year so I got another one of those and then go in a boat and then Foxtails, I got that. 
And then my kids love Pete the Cat, and these were just a dollar. So I got these. Pete at the Beach. So I got two copies of that one. And then Play Ball. Pete the Cat Play Ball. Pete the Cat is really nice. It's a wide range um, of AR levels if you do those, or ATOS levels. We do AR at my school. And um, so Pete the Cat ranges from like 0 0.9 to like 2 point something. And so they're always a good staple to have in your library. And they're a good size. They're not huge. They're easy to read for the kiddos. And I got Pout Pout Fish. I got that one. And then that one. And then this came in a three book set. Um, Pig the Pug. But it says Pig the Winner. And so three of those. And then I also got, so like, you know, when you spend a certain amount, you get um, some, they give you some funds to spend. So I got, I think that's how I got the Pete the Cat books. And then I also just got some happy birthday stickers. And then scented. They, my classes always love these scented cupcake stickers. So I got some of those. So really neat. I love Scholastic. That was my Scholastic books order. So now I will end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going through um, the first start of revamping my classroom with me and um, going through my Scholastic book box. So I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good summer. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.